It has now been over one month since we last were allowed to freely wander around the streets of Taipei without any restrictions and I don't know about you but for me these last 30 days have been a complete life changer and for the first time in my life I'm trying to grow a beard. My hair on my head I pretty much started living a life of its own. I started making a lot of smoothies which by the way you can see more about if you do follow my Instagram account or join my YouTube channel membership. And the biggest change being that I now have started to appreciate and value the life outside of this apartment and the life outside in the beautiful nature of Taiwan in a completely different way. So in this video, instead of us just sitting here counting the minutes we've all spent trapped at home, I thought that we can all travel back in time to the day where me and Yuan Yuan took our bikes down to Taichung, where we wanted to go on an adventure and discover the last place on my Google Maps places I wanted to go to list before or well actually right in the middle of when these level 3 restrictions first started. And I should also mention that if you didn't know already, you could actually also follow me on Google Maps. I will leave a link down in the description below, which you will need a phone to actually click on in order to follow me and my Google Maps account. But once you do that, you will be able to see all my previous visits, all the previous trips and all the 100% honest feedback I have been giving all these places. So with that disclaimer out of the way, let's all travel back in time to Friday the 14th of May when the two adventurers lose Lucas and Yuan Yuan are on the way down to Taichung to finally check off the last item on their Google Maps places I want to go travel list. <laughs> But before the actual trip is starting, we of course need to fill up our energy, which we are doing here at Luisa Coffee. We already know. Five stars. And now, three and a half hour later, we are finally here at the Giant's Hand. And I have to say, it feels very, very nice that I finally have completed the mission with checking out this one single place that I have been wanting to go to for I think close to two years right now. And my only thing on my Google Maps that I had starred as I wanted to go to. What do you think? It's very special. And you would think, why is it here, you know, in the middle of nowhere? It's it's interesting, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool, especially with the drone. I think it looks cool from the sky. Expert drone pilot today. So. Yes, so I heard. <laughs> oh, yo, 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 shit, super scary. I think I can do this, but look, I'm trying to pass in the hand, you know, super scary. So is it time to turn over to the drone B-rolls? Oh, yeah, let's do this. Although this place is called Giant's Hand, we actually have the Giant's Head right over here. We also have another hand right here and back here we also have the knee and at least one foot and five toes over there. Why it's here, I have no idea. If you know, please do let me know by leaving a comment down in the description below. If you, like us, are on your way to Taichung, I highly recommend stopping by here as well. Speaking of which, we're gonna continue this day, continue this weekend and head over to Taichung where a few other friends of us are waiting, which means that we have no idea how this weekend might end. At this time in the video, it was early afternoon down in Taichung, or well, up here in Taipei as well, which meant that we had time to check out one more place before our final destination and meeting our friends down in Taichung. And now we also finally made it here to the Rainbow Village here in Taichung. This is a place I've also wanted to go to for the longest time and something that I saw in Wes Davies' YouTube channel where he was checking out this rainbow village as well. This village has a super, super interesting story which I sadly will not have time to cover in today's video. I will try and see if I can link Wes Davies' channel up there and you also have a link down in the description. This story of this place is super fascinating and definitely deserves five stars for its creativity and the fact that you will not see this anywhere else in Taiwan or the rest of the world. One thing, however, you should keep in mind on when you do come here and check this out is that the village itself 
is super super cool but at the same time the surroundings here serves as a reminder to what could have happened to this village itself if it wouldn't have been for this incredible artist literally saving this entire block from being teared down just like its unfortunate neighbors with that said, it's super, super hot here. We're down here in Taichung. And the next stop on today's agenda is... Is... Yuan Yuan! No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Is... Where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> to be continued. And what is better than on a super, super hot day when you are out following Google Maps than to open the app and search for the best ice cream place in entire Taichung? Well, it was a rhetorical question. There's absolutely nothing better than trying to find the best ice cream place in Taichung, which is exactly what we did. Wow, including chocolate, caramel and vanilla. Okay, full disclaimer, I actually have no idea if this actually is the best ice cream place or not. But with a 4.2 stars on Google Maps and over 23,000 reviews, it was definitely worth checking this out as well. And once again, if you do want to see more photos of this very amazing looking ice cream place and to see my 100% honest opinion, please do check that link to Google Maps using your phone in the description below and follow me on Google Maps as well. So what do you think about apparently the best ice cream place in Taichung? I'm very looking forward to eat my ice cream. We are here at this ice cream shop. I will put the name up here because I have no idea about the name right now. It is however right next to Taichung train station. I have been here before. Yuan Yuan thinks he has been here before. I find it hard to believe because the ice cream here is definitely something that you would remember. All good. How many stars good? Five stars. Actually, as I mentioned earlier, our plan was to meet up with a few other YouTubers down here in Taichung, which obviously, if you didn't guess it already, was Prossy and Alan. But as we were arriving here, we heard about the new COVID update and level 3 status up in Taipei. So obviously, today's plan had to change. As soon as we're done here, unless the ice cream has melted already, we're gonna head back to the hotel. We just have to see what we're gonna do next because we have to change the entire agenda for the rest of this weekend. But as you have noticed, the video and this weekend is not done yet. And then after the ice cream, we went straight here to our hotel room at the Hotel Regio. Yeah. Regio. Yeah, this hotel. Uh, international hotel, but not an international breakfast, which I personally think should be illegal if you do have the name international in your hotel name. There should be an international breakfast as well. Regardless, uh, this is where we spend the rest of the evening, the rest of the weekend after all those corona restrictions and now it's time to head back to Taipei and back to our studio to complete this video. And because of the lack of the international breakfast, four stars. Thank you so much for that Lucas and before I end this video I just quickly want to mention that we did actually have time to stop by the 921 Earthquake Museum of Taiwan as well, which sadly did not make it into this final version of this video. I mentioned this before that every single time we're out traveling to these different places, we actually spend a lot more time than you may think. And sometimes we actually visit entire places that just unfortunately does not make it to the final version of these videos that I do put out here on YouTube. So if you do want some more information and some more insight on how our travel weekends actually look like, then please once again, use your phone, check the link in the description below, and then you can also follow me on Google Maps and you will get updated on not only my 100% personal opinions, you will also see all the different places that I frequently visit as they happen in real time. But something else that you can do regardless if you are watching on a phone or via a computer is to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to show your support. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Lucas. It starts with L as in like, ends with S as in subscribe. Least of both and see you all in the next one.